in this part three about the pi alternatives or how to display composition in tableau let's look at tree maps so here is the tree map the simplest one that we could build so in the last video we have seen how to build this gender balance uh, as a pie chart which displays these numbers number of male and number of females with its percentage now let's see how we can build the same uh, tree map it's it's not uh, a very complex thing but i wanted to start off with something so simple so that you can understand the basics then we will try to build uh, things which are much more complex so now let's get in here as i said like last time let's understand what uh, ended up creating this uh, tree map so let's start off uh, by basically clearing the sheet and using show me to learn from show me so i want gender i want number of employees which i've selected by pressing control or command and then i'm going to press uh, show me and then i'm gonna invoke tree maps so now look at what happens so if you paid attention the mark type changed here so the, the automatic now became square right so for a tree map so tableau is using square as the mark type and then on the size we see number of records and then on the color also we see number of records and then the gender has come as a text as a label itself which we can see very nicely here so now let's remove things one by one and see what kind of an impact it has so if i remove this now gender is removed which was only on label now it is it is back to just one dot yeah so why is this happening because as you can see all we have on color and size is a number there is nothing else so all we have in this report is just a single number right so to, the way to see that is go to view data and then you will see i get just only one number here whereas if i just go to the previous case now if i go to view data this report actually has two numbers which is gender as well as this so this is this is one of the places where understanding of level of detail the concept of level of detail is very important to understanding how tree maps really work I have a separate video on this so I recommend you watch this uh, if, if this is not clear to you and then proceed with this yeah so I assume that you understand level of detail just a quick summary so level of detail tells tableau at what is the number of buckets that you should have uh, in in the report then all the numbers are then put into these buckets and then the sum or whatever aggregation is applied so depending on the number of values in, in inside each of these buckets that many numbers you will have so we have here gender as a bucket which has only two values male and female so all you will have two numbers for whatever measures you have now if i put anything else uh, for example department which has five values gender into department two into five will get ten values uh, so just to show you if i bring department onto label also so now you could see at the bottom now we have 10 marks because it's 2 into uh, 5 2 values in gender 5 values in department so we will get uh, 10 values yeah so now that's that's how so each item you put on color size label detail except tooltip all of them affect the level of detail because tableau has to go and fetch the data for each one of these items obviously things which are on rows and columns also they determine what uh, what is the level of detail right so literally everything you see on this entire shelf except tooltip determines your level of detail some of them affect the display uh, in in some charts some of them don't affect but universally so tooltip is the only thing which will not really affect your level of detail the rest of them uh, affect your level of detail so now that is clear so now let's start from scratch and then see how to build this so so the first step is to bring the number of employees this thing to basically size so the moment i do that if you noticed so if i go back it is by default in text mode this is what it is saying uh, if the moment i brought number of employees it is changing into a square so this is the square so now the size of the square conventionally i can increase it this way right but the moment i i put uh, something else which allows us to split then uh, this this will change so to split we we can put them in color we can put them in label for now let me put it in color because that's what we want 
now we can see it is split uh, in a, as per the proportion of the gender which is 125 employees versus 95 employees uh, and that's all we have for now yeah so this this is uh, the tree map that we wanted to build to add the percentages it is very simple so we we could do something like what we have done before to use percentage of total uh, and then that one we can put it uh, on the label also you will be able to see so now let's go to the next example which has region uh, which has four values uh, which is also very similar in terms of the process it this is no rocket science right so we are gonna this time i'm gonna do it in a slightly different order so i'm gonna bring region on color so by default now it is putting four uh, square uh, marks and then now i'm gonna put uh, let's say instead of uh, yeah sales on size now these four are uh, sized as per the sales right so now i can bring again sales on label 2 and then i can now add percentage of total so we would be able to see if i want i can change the original uh, put both the values also this is one of the nice things about tree map you could display a lot more uh, items than what is possible in in a limited space in case of a pie chart or any other uh, forms right so you have more space for labels uh, when you have a few values yeah so this is the case the real power of tree map comes when we want to display a lot of value something like this here just for demonstration purposes i've put subcategory on color otherwise this is 17 items on 17 different colors doesn't really make sense so the more appropriate thing to do would be to put subcategory on detail uh, so that it is, it is not affecting the color but it is still resulting in a split and then we would put category on color right so this is what i could do then this each of the categories they get their own box and then within them they are divided too yeah uh, so the now the nice thing about this is now the moment i expand this this is a hierarchy you as you can see it's category subcategory manufacturer name product name as i expand this focus on the number of marks i i expanded this now it's 265 marks because there are 265 manufacturer combinations within this subcategory uh, category uh, array right so that is why you get this and now you are able to see within this whole uh, furniture for example how many manufacturers are there uh, and then uh, 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 what is the breakup of that within with with respect to the overall uh, all the sales overall and then nothing stops us from from going even further also here i am putting things on the detail but when it comes to uh, tree map you can put things on label also for example i am going to put this on label this time so now we are going seeing this phones only so let's also put sales there on labels uh, and then we could change the order by changing it like this uh, in in the marks card now let's add more things now we can see this is phones and others inside that manufacturer and then i can expand even further so wherever it is possible it's going to display this or the tooltip will tell us the, the nice thing about this is i can click on anything even as small as this and i'm able to see the detail in the in the tooltip itself as i said so this is with respect to seeing this whole thing i could actually bring this on the uh, one of the shelves as well because like pi this one does not have a rows or column in other words this is also a single mark but then it is uh, you know broken up into multiple pieces based on what we are putting on color and size and the rest of the level of detail that's how it is split so nothing stops us from putting something on rows or i can put for example category like this and then i can go and select order date and then see how things are performing across this this kind of a busy chart you know i am not sure really what message it conveys but we have used i mean in in some of our consulting engagements we have used something like this uh, to show interesting trends across how things are evolving over time across a lot of values uh, the, the nice thing about this tree map is it's just one screen full right so if you use uh, space properly uh, you would be able to uh, display a lot of uh, useful information about how things are evolving uh, for example uh, different customer sales 
uh, whether some customer is reminding uh, the, the the importance of them the percentage uh, the sales that we get from a customer is, is it changing over the years uh, are our top 10 customers are they consistent in terms of their percentage of sales that uh, they give us so some of these questions over time they are easily answered uh, using this representation called tree map yeah, so that's it for this series where we covered uh, pi and tree maps with respect to composition, uh, which is the percentage of the whole or parts of the whole or slice of the pi, whatever term that you are used to. Uh, so that that's it. Thank you.